Hi folks, I'm going to talk about the Austin Matthews, Travis Konechny scrum from the other day, where Matthews goes over, gives him a cross check, they exchange slashes, and then a big scrum breaks out. And I ask you right now, who is anyone protecting Austin Matthews from here? I mean, look at everybody jump into his defense. He's the one that skated seven strides to go over and give an extra cross check. He's the one who initiated all this stuff. And he's the only one not doing anything about it. This, you have to remember, is what started all this. A small player goes over and gives him a regular shoulder bump. Pushes him off the puck a little bit. He's got to go out of his way to go over. That's the battle he wants to pick. And you know what? That's fine. Stars take a lot of abuse. You never know what's going to set them over the edge, all right? If that's what he wants to say is you can't give me that extra bump, enough is enough, I'm going to go over and I'm going to give you a cross check, that's fine. But if that's the battle you want to pick and you're going to stay with it and re return a slash and everything, you better be willing to finish that battle yourself because that battle is not worth jumping in for. The only reason Austin Matthews needed protection there is because he went and sought out a battle, not because somebody was picking on him. And for anyone that's going to tell me those guys had a choice, they didn't have to jump in there, they chose to, they knew what they were getting into, no, they didn't. They did not have a choice. If they had not defended their star there, what do you think would have happened to them? What do you think the media would have said? What do you think the fans would have said and the coaches would have said? They did not have a choice there. They were put in a position to have to protect their star, but the only problem with it is that the star put himself in that position. He made the danger happen. He created that battle, so he should have done something to finish it. If you want to have fighting in the game to protect your stars, then the stars better just concentrate on hockey. And if they don't, if they want to fight their own battles, that's great, but they better be willing to follow through when the battle actually starts.